system can cover both. Yeah, and we've always done. I mean, I've been a, I've been a, a, you know, a handheld gamer for since the Game Boy, mm-hmm. right? I didn't, I didn't actually own one, but I mean, I had a Game Boy Advance, I had a Game Boy Advance SP, you know, so on and so forth. And so, um, looks like we're live again. Not sure why, Thanks. but Twig. but we're we're <laughs> back. So uh, that's cool. Um, but. You always went into that experience knowing it was going to be dumbed down graphics. It was mm-hmm. going to be a compromise, uh, you know, some kind of compromise. Yeah, just for the sake of being mobile, and that's fine. That compromise is basically gone, right? At at yeah. at this point, like, I always wanted to play uh, Mario Kart Eight on the go. That mm-hmm. was the one thing I was like, man, I it bothers me that Mario Kart Eight is tied to the Wii U, and I can't like. You can't go far from the hmm. from the the console with the with the gamepad, otherwise it's it's gonna disconnect. And so this is this is that. This is this is that machine. And so it's it's really great. And I, you know, like I said, Nintendo, just keep doubling that production, get that marketing stuff out there, and let's 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 get this in as many people's hands as possible. All my kids want one now. You know, so it's like, well, that's going to be fun at Christmas. Expensive. Might as well buy them new cars, you know. But, Ooh. um, <laughs> so, well, hey, we're already at the hour mark, but I do want to do a little bit of, I want to talk about Zelda for just a, just a, oh, yeah. a little bit anyway. Um, so if you don't want to listen to any kind of Zelda stuff, we're, we're now's telling you the right time. now. Now's the time to, uh, just fast forward a little bit until we, until we wrap this thing up. But, so funny story. You know, we've got these. Uh, we've I've got the three amiibo I want, mm-hmm. which is the Wolf Link, the eight bit, and Ganondorf. Ganondorf, and I scan those things daily, so that I can try to get the Sword of Six Ages, which we've talked about, mm-hmm. and then the full hero uh, outfits, right? Yeah. The outfit from Eight Bit Link. Well, today I did the thing that I said I wasn't going to do. Did you open something? So, I no, I said I wasn't going to cheese the system. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but here's what happened. I'm at this shrine near the volcano, and there's lava all around me, mm-hmm. and I'm like, ah, well, I'm probably not going to have much time to play today. I want to just real quick scan the amiibo, get my stuff. Um, Ganon the first time gave me. Opal, thanks. Hmm. But here's what happened. I scan Toon Link, or not Toon Link, 8-bit Link. My barrels fall in, my chest falls in. Cool. Well, they catch fire because it's so hot there. The barrels do. I'm like, well, I'm just going to scan Ganon in two since I'm right here, and then I'll just open everything. Ganon drops in with an explosive barrel. And sends everything oh, flying. No. <laughs> the chests went into the lava, and they were gone. I, you know, or at least the link chest. The the only thing that was left was the Ganon chest was right there, and it had opal in it. So I'm uh, like, no, waste. I'm not wasting my day. So I just reloaded my save, and then uh, scanned again. Again, Ganon is just trolling me. He's never given me anything hmm. good. I, he gave me ice he arrows. Should. Or something. Uh, but 8-Bit Link gave me the hero's trousers. So now all nice. I need is the cap. So I have the I have the tunic and the trousers. So we're 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 getting close. We're getting close. But that was that was funny to me. Um I have been slowly working my way through the Divine Beasts. Um I have one left. Nice. And I think I'm at I'm sitting at like 61 shrines complete. Cool. And still just loving this game. Like just absolutely loving. I was listening to uh, the Nintendo voice chat. If you guys don't listen to that, go check it out. It's such a great Nintendo podcast. They're very just like it's 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 very well done. I mean, it's IGN, of course it is. But Per Schneider was talking about how he uh, had one apple, and he <laughs> rode up to three sta- a statue that had three. There was three statues, and they needed to, he needed to drop one apple in the in the middle cup or whatever middle bowl. So that one of those uh, little Koroks or whatever would come out. Is that what they're called? I can't remember. I know they dropped the Korok seeds, so I don't remember what the little guys are called. But I'm going to call them uh, that. I'm going to call them Koroks. Okay. 
Yeah, I just I don't care remember. Clorox. But Clorox. Yeah, not a sponsor. And uh, so he's on his horse, and he rides up to these statues, hops off his horse, goes into his menu, pulls the apple, and dr- goes to drop the apple. The horse walks up. <laughs> To the statue and eats one of the apples right out of the and he's like what how what so then he had to go looking for apples again before he could uh um get oh back and gosh. and 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 unlock the little thing to get his seed so i don't know i was just dying listening to their um their experience like the different things they were doing even even last night like i didn't feel like finishing a puzzle and so i took I took. I needed to get a basically electrical current from one side to the other side. I just mm-hmm. dropped all of my Metal Gear and just put it in a line from one of the currents that was lit up to the one that wasn't, and boom, we were good. Unbelievable. It was good to get. So, you know, we were getting uh, – the chat was having a good time with it too. Like we were all just kind of laughing at it. But um, Yeah, there, there's a lot of um, random – um, slash funny slash just cool things that happen in this world of Hyrule. Um, another one, I think you sent me a video of a guy that goes to fight a guardian and, uh, the, the rock was it the Thanos or I don't even uh, remember the stone, uh, the, the stone, stone, the stone monster. Yeah. They're right next to each other and the guardian and the rock guys, basically start duking it out you know this this guardian's like firing laser beams at this thing and it's <laughs> and it's just kind of like that's not something that i think was like specifically well first of all it's i know for stone a, talus talus okay it's not something that's like scripted that wasn't part of like oh you go into this level and this happens it's just something in the game world you know that that happens and it's kind of cool to see that, like, the world doesn't just break down, you know? Like, um, these two, like, mega monster things don't just run past each other or glitch through each other. Um, they actually react to each other. And the Guardian kind of seems like it's like a, a mindless beast, you know, in a sense. It, it's like a motion sensor. And it just picks picks up motion and starts shooting at it. And it... it it did just that, like with this rock monster. It's not like, oh, you're just a rock. You're you're not like a threat. No, it just kind of picks up movement and starts firing at it. You know, which I thought was a super cool video. Um, the story you told me about the horse just eating the apple. You know, like I'm sure in game that horse is just programmed to where if the apple gets close enough to its mouth, it it thinks you're feeding it and just eats it. So it didn't matter that you dropped it into a shrine, you know. <laughs> like the horse is just like, oh, an apple, cool, <laughs> you know. And it kind of—I'm sure at the time he was like, "Are you kidding me?" You know. But like, it becomes this moment that's again unscripted, and this game was like crafted well enough to where those those moments can happen. And I think that's just really cool. Um. I know we've talked before, like, most of the things I've discovered in this game were by accident. Mm. And when I found them out, it was kind of just like, oh, that's so cool that I was able to do that. Um, The shrines, the shrines, I think, really teach you kind of like how to do things. Or like, once you do figure it out, you're like, oh, dude, I can apply that to this area of the map that I've been trying to get to, or like during a boss fight, I could apply that. And, and then it works, you know, when it's like, I think we talked about this in chat when you were taking the metal objects and laying them out to get the electricity to cross the room. It's like, is that like cheesing the system or is that just like being really (laughs) smart, you know, like thinking outside of the box. And that's one thing about this game that I think it really encourages um, for example, the shrines, like I won't give anything away about the shrines, but the shrines can be beaten very different ways. And I think it really depends on what shrines you've been to in the past, like what 
power-ups you've gotten from those shrines. But since the game is so open world, it doesn't like... Not like old Zelda games where it's like, okay, if you're on Dungeon 4 in an old Zelda game, it knows that you've beaten 1, 2, and 3. It knows what, like, bomb or boomerang or hookshot. It knows you have those things. So it builds upon that knowledge of, like, okay, when you get to this later dungeon, you're going to have to use bombs, hookshot, um, you know, whatever else that particular Zelda gives you. This Zelda doesn't have that, so you might do the shrines in a different order than I would. So it has a way to do it with, like, if that's your very first shrine you've ever done, you're going to be able to beat it. It might be harder than if it was your third shrine, though, when you get all these other items. So I think it's cool to see how people are, like, like I said, thinking outside of the box to, like, accomplish goals. Yeah, man, I, it's and, and that's what's that's what's so fun about this. Like, I feel like it's the perfect formula. The way this game starts, it still has some like very like Zelda like tropes, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's very Zelda, but all they do is just kind of lay them out and then say, "Here's this world, yeah. go, go forth and explore." And that's what that's what makes it so great. So, um, it man, like I'm I'm excited to. Uh, to to finish it Mm -hmm. but at the same time i don't want to finish it and i was watching some other streamers yesterday they're like i don't want to they were just unlocking parts of the map and they're like i don't want to finish this game i don't want to i don't want to do it i just want to stay i just want to stay in this world and 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 keep going and so i totally i totally get that yeah that's uh that's where i'm at too hopefully we get that with the upcoming hard mode hopefully it allows us to whatever it may be expand our our kind of journey in this world yeah yeah and it, i mean even now hunting like shrines were pretty easy to find at first now it's a hunt oh yeah now it's <laughs> it gets... now it's a hunt i'm at oh i think i'm just under 100 shrines i think i'm at 95 or 96 um yeah um as as you that have been playing this game that aren't really worried about this spoiler section um you'll get those hints you know under your quest log that say Hey, at this, I just got one recently that said at this time of night, uh, piercing the stone monster's gaze. That's like a little puzzle. That's all it tells you. And that shrine will not present itself until you've done a certain, uh, a certain, um, amount of things in a certain like order or a certain way. Mm. Otherwise that shrine will never pop up in the world. You won't be able to just like walk past it and be like, Oh, I'm jumping into this shrine. No, it it just it won't appear until you do, you've done it. So yeah, they they start getting pretty tricky. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely enjoying them, and like trying to find some of them has been like it's been a kind of a pain. But like like hey, this is uh you know the first the first fifty or so are like hmm. oh this is cake. You can see them, you can mark them, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, yesterday was the first time I was able to get to a location and mark a a shrine in, in a very long time. Yeah. A very long time. That hadn't happened in quite some time. So I was yeah. like, Oh sweet. <laughs> the rest of them now I'm like, well, I know there's one here, but I've got to, I've got to do this, this, and this. And then I wrote out to one that I was like, sweet. I got to it. No, you got to do something first before you can open it. I was like, oh, come on, come on. What, what, what is going on here? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, and, and we're going to do, we're going to do a full spoiler cast probably in like a week. I'm guessing we'll probably have beat it by then and we'll just do like a full on. It'll just cool. be a Zelda Zelda spoiler cast. We will let people know very clearly in the description. It'll be like an extra show. It won't be our normal show. And uh, we'll be able to just kind of really, really dive in. Because, I mean, honestly, you and I haven't talked all that much because it's like I don't want to spoil anything for yeah. you. You don't want to spoil anything for me. So it's um, it's like everything is just kind of like tiptoeing around uh, like uh, talking uh, about well, for example, there's a location I, 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 if you remember, I told you in stream the other day, like, hey, I just found that location that you did a long time ago, right? And um, I think I know how to get to that shrine, but I'm like, ooh, I didn't, re- I just know you've done that part before, um, and here I am, a hundred right. hours into it, and I just got to that part where you did it, probably hour fifteen, twenty, maybe. Right, yeah. So, and I'm sure 
yeah, I, like I said, I it's going to be a challenge, but I think I'll have a different experience being that my character is a lot more leveled up at this point than your character was when you did it. Because I think at the time you had like five hearts or something like that. Maybe maybe like no extra stamina or something. Um, so yeah, we'll see we'll see how that goes, and we'll be able to be able to talk about that more. Because like I said, I know you've done that part already, um, and I'll have it done by like next week or something like that. So, but yeah, there's some stuff. It's like I don't even like like what do I tell Josh? Because I don't know if he's done it yet, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like. I don't want to spoil that for you. And then, but at the same time, it's like, how do we talk about it? Um, yeah. yeah. It'll be interesting to see. Well, and the few people I've like jumped into their streams and seen stuff. I'm like, I don't have that. Mm-hmm. How, how'd they get that? You know, yeah. like how, how'd they get that? And I have to be careful, like joining the streams and it's like, Oh, there's, they're talking about the memories or going after it. It's like, Oh God, I don't, I don't I haven't found that one yet. I, I want to watch, but Nope, I'm not going yeah. to. So I, you yeah, know, whenever so I, you found a memory that it started and I, I knew I didn't have it. I would mute your stream. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm going to, I'm playing my game. I don't even want to hear. I want to, yeah, but that's, you know, that's, that's the thing. I think, um, in today's, today's age, you know, if you want to listen to a podcast or watch a stream, uh, you know, maybe ask yourself, do, do I want to experience this for a hand or, uh, I think a lot of people that are watching the Zelda streams right now, probably either a have no desire to play this game or maybe they can't get their hands on it, but they're just that excited. They're like, oh, no, I want to know what happens. Like, cause if I wasn't playing it right now, I, I need, I want to be watching it. So, um, yeah, you know, um, we try to stay spoiler free, but we do got to talk about it guys. Otherwise there's no podcast. <laughs> right right well hey this is uh let's let's wrap this thing up where can people find you i know you've been doing some streaming and stuff now so let's uh let's get all the places yeah so um you can find me at the usual at destinot tlc over there on the twitterverse um and then of course we do this show we also do our mainly destiny focused show the loot cast uh that goes on at 7 p.m pacific time this one um, if you don't turn in, tune in live, it happens at nine o'clock Pacific time right here on twitch.tv slash the loot cave. Also in podcast form, if you're a listener, um, but you can also find me, um, on Twitch as well. I just fired it up today to make sure all the technical glitches were good to go and everything, you know, audio levels were good. Uh, twitch.tv slash destinot. Right now we are jumping into Mass Effect Andromeda, so we're gonna we're gonna fire that one up and see where that goes. I've heard it's possibly a ninety-hour game, so I'm, I might be streaming that for a while. There you go. There you go, guys. You can find me on Twitter at n64josh. You can follow the show on Twitter at n. Powercast, and we are giving away another copy of Blaster Master Zero. We're going to be giving that away on April 1st. All you got to do is go check out our pinned tweet, uh, follow us, and retweet that, and you will be entered to win um, Blaster Master Zero for the uh, for the Nintendo Switch. So, also want to mention that I do stream on a fairly regular basis on twitch.tv slash n64josh. Recommend just following and, and turning on the notifications if you want to come and check those out. Um, Monday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is a guaranteed stream. Um, the rest of them are kind of just uh, at the moment due to due to life, just when I can when I can get on. So a lot of late night stuff. Being on the West Coast, I know that can be tough for some people on the uh, the other side of the world. So, um, uh, also got some YouTube videos coming out. There will be links in the show notes. Um, and like I did mention, I was on that podcast, Nerd Buzzed. Go check them out. Like you know, they're they're kind of a the PlayStation Four uh, show. They talk a lot about PlayStation stuff, but um, really good dudes. And uh, had a really good time hanging out with them and playing some one two switch that kind of stuff. And uh, I, oh man, I we we do two shows. Did I mention I played one two switch with my eighty year old grandmother this week on this show? Uh, I think that was on the last show, but yeah, I did see you tweet a picture or someone tweeted that out. You sitting there with her. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if she was showing you the ropes or you were showing her. 
Uh, we had a good time. We had a good time. Like uh, my daughter was like, "Dad, why are you so slow?" I'm like, it "Just it's it's fine. Don't worry about it." You know. Um, but like like milk and the cow was actually too hard for her, and she oh, wow. grew up. I mean, she's been a like she was a dairy farmer most of her life. So I was, I could see she really wanted to be able to do it, but it wasn't it wasn't working mm-hmm. out too well. But like the safe crack and uh, the answering the phone, some other games like that. Uh, the wizard. The there's like one where you like have two wands oh, that you're yeah. trying to. Uh, attack each other. Like, Harry that Potter. Was the, yeah, that was like the first time I played that, and uh, it was it was quite quite fun. So she uh, she really enjoyed it. Some good laughs, and then like my four year old nephew would come running in and like do bottle shake and like just shake it continually until it popped, and then like throw it on the floor and run out. I was like, get out of here, you little <laughs> runt, you know. So, um, but anyway, that's that, guys. If you have a second to leave us a uh, a review, if you if you're enjoying these shows, it would really help us out. We did hit that uh, that twenty mark, but that 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 three star review from the from the spoilers dropped us. Uh, dropped us back down to a four and a half star uh rating so if you're enjoying this and you feel like giving us a five star we really really appreciate that remember you can join us in our discord at the lootcave.com slash npc discord and you can also find all the show notes for this show at the lootcave.com slash npc 12 so thank you so much brian thanks for hanging out man yeah and uh we'll see you guys next week